Before you can put your part stack in, you want to reinstall the connecting rod. Helps to put a little grease on the surfaces of that. And then you notice this cam bearing, you'll have to kind of turn it and work it in. And then you'll want to have that keyway facing straight up again. Try to center this connecting rod as best you can. Take that part stack that we put together and drop that down in making sure that the guide that's on the bottom isn't hung up on this connecting rod and that it fit down flush. And then you want to torque that center bolt to 130 inch pounds. Here's where you put that other o-ring from the kit down inside here. Helps to put a little oil on it as well. And then that brass ring, this can go on either way. Push that down in. You can put that, that side, that you can put the head on for that side. It's a good idea to tighten down those bolts in a crisscross pattern to make sure you're drawing down the head evenly. We'll flip over the pump. And you want to turn that shaft again so that keyway is facing straight up. Take our other part stack. Carefully drop that in, making sure that it goes down all the way and that guide's fitting over top of the connecting rod. Torque that center bolt to 130 inch pounds. Reinstall that skinny o ring. and the final brass ring. Make sure that the O-rings on the heads are in good condition. Tighten that back down. And then the last thing to do would be to reinstall the new grease fitting. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and to do that, basically, you'll just want to line that up into the cam bearing and tap it in with a hammer gently until you feel it bottom out. And then to straighten this out, while the pump is running, you can take a screwdriver, put it in, in this notch, and gently touch the grease fitting while it's spinning and, until it's straightened out and true. And you'll want to grease this cam bearing every 50 hours of operation or once a month. And you want to be very careful not to over grease it because you can actually blow out the inner seal that's inside of the cam bearing. And if you have excessive grease in this cavity, it'll build up heat. So be very careful with that. That's all there is to it. This has been the 5300 series pump. For any additional assistance, call us at 1-800-468-3428 or check us out online at hypropumps.com.